painful. Harry humiliated for being removed from top 200 in Sandhurst Army Book, but James Blunt honoured. Meghan Markle's husband has faced another big blow. Prince Harry's been left humiliated after being excluded from a prestigious book celebrating the Sandhurst's top alumni, in what's been branded a snub by a top army commander. The Duke of Sussex failed to make the military academy's top 200 people to train at the Armed Forces Military College, despite his brother Prince William making the cut and even penning the forward to the exclusive guide. Even James Blunt made the pages of They Also Served for his stint serving for the military in Kosovo, before becoming a multi-million pound singer. Instead, the California-based royal joins other military outcasts such as fascist leader Sir Oswald Mosley and Benson Freeman, who joined the Nazi party to become a Waffen SS officer. Former British Army commander Richard Kemp told The Sun that he could see why the prince was excluded from the book. He said, I completely understand why he's not been included. I probably would have included him on balance, but it's not a disappointment to not see him in there. I don't think he did anything particularly notable during his service, but he was certainly a significant person to go to Sandhurst. I suspect the recent disharmony between him and the royal family has led them to decide against having him in. One thing he said in his book was the army taught him to see the enemy as less than human, which is not what we were taught. It was at Sandhurst Barracks that Harry filmed himself making discriminatory comments towards his Asian and Arab army colleagues. Ditching an army memorial service to go to a Disney premiere to pitch his wife to get her a Disney voiceover gig is not exactly the notable act of a Sandhurst alumni. Harry completed a 44-week training course at Sandhurst in Camberley, Surrey in 2005. He left as an officer cadet in 2006. Author Vaughan Kent Payne, who wrote They Also Served, 200 People Who Trained at Sandhurst, says not everyone who trained there was a good egg. The 65-year-old adds that there's a smattering of traitors and cads. The humiliating blow comes almost a year to the day after the Duke's explosive memoir Spare was released, where he boasted about attacking 25 fighters, explaining that he saw those he killed as chess pieces rather than people. His bragging in that book is insufferable. No true war veteran writes of their service like that, especially about killing the enemy. There's something not right with Harry. Omitting him sends a huge message, way bigger than pretty much anything he's copped to date. I imagine this has to be immensely humiliating for him, given how he clings to the military hero narrative like his life depends on it, in the absence of any meaningful direction in life beyond drug-addled professional victim. For a prince to be shunned by his own military, alma mater, in this way, it's got to be the ultimate insult. Now Harry's finding out that life outside the gilded cage is a lot harsher than he thought. It's so one week into 2024, and Harry's linked with an Epstein associate by his work with the Aspen Institute, and has been left out of Sandhurst notables. Meghan is once again talking big with nothing to back it up, and a high-profile attorney breathing fire and gathering together the many, many lies that she's told. How's that year of reconciliation going thus far? 